Just picked this up on my doorstep. This is so sweet. This is a gift from Chris. It says, welcome back. Thanks for the last year. Here's to a new one, Chris. So sweet. This is the cutest pencil case. This is adorable. I love it. Thank you, Chris. Having a lovely salad. This is a Southwest salad and I added a Trader Joe's patty. Mm, so good. I'm also watching a course on Skillshare. If you guys have never heard of Skillshare, this video is sponsored by them. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. Right now, I'm watching Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Justin Bridges. He goes into detail about shutter speed, ISO, aperture. So it's a very useful course that I've been learning a lot from. I'm pretty much self-taught with photography, uh, video shooting, video editing, all of that jazz. I have just kind of learned along the way. And I do know how to work a DSLR, but I don't know exactly why I'm doing something or I can't explain why I have my camera at a certain setting. It's hard to explain. I just know what to do, but I can't explain it. And it's interesting because I now have an assistant who has been helping me shoot. By no means is she a photographer. However, she is willing to learn and she'd like to shoot in manual. I feel like knowing the basic tools of working a DSLR or a uh, mirrorless camera or a point and shoot, it's, it's very helpful. So the reason why I'm watching uh, this course on fundamentals of DSLR photography is so that I can explain to my assistant why I'm doing something a certain way um, because we plan on doing a little training session where I just talk about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, the three you know main points. And I just wanna be able to explain uh, more accurately on what I am doing. So that is why I'm taking this class. You can really look up anything on Skillshare and they'll be able to offer some sort of course for you to learn. Um, and, it's, and it's affordable. With Skillshare's online classes, you'll be able to make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. So that being said, Skillshare is offering you two free months of premium membership to help you explore your creativity. Um, so make sure you click the link in the description box below. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So again, very affordable. I highly recommend checking them out. I've been learning a lot. Happy New Year, you guys. I took a couple days off from vlogging. For New Year's Eve, I didn't go too crazy. Well, kinda, but it wasn't like a big group or anything. It was just Andy, my sister, and myself. We went to a bar near the house and we just celebrated together. Got pretty messed up, was hurt the next day. <laughs> but I would say in the past five years, that was probably the chillest New Year's Eve we've had. Um, but I took a few days to recover and recuperate. <laughs> I've just been trying to get back into the routine. You guys know how it is. After holidays, you're just kind of out of whack and I've been eating crazy. I haven't been going to the gym. My work has been piling up. So I've just spent yesterday and today kind of getting all of that sorted. And my assistant will be here in an hour and we're gonna go shoot today. We're also gonna do some errands together. So, Let's get ready. Makeup is complete. Did kind of like 
a smudgy, smoky eye, and a nude lip. My go-to. Hello, here Hi. with Hannah. This is my assistant. We're out here in Pasadena and we're shooting some content today. Ooh, too bright. Hannah picked out the locations. Yeah. Very good job, Hannah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we're just gonna be shooting all day and then we're gonna head to Echo Park to eat some food. It feels like Tuesday, but it's Friday. It is Saturday evening, it's 9 p.m. I just got home. My friends tried to get me to go out last night and also tonight, but I think I went a little bit too hard on New Year's Eve. I'm still recovering, you know what I mean? I've just been on vacation and my mind has just been turned off from work, so it's been interesting trying to get back into focus, back in the swing of things. It definitely takes me a while to get back in the routine. There's a lot of moments where travel comes up or a birthday or some sort of event. Um, and I have such a great time, but coming back into reality, I guess, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> I love the feeling of being on top of my work and kind of staying there. And anything that distracts me from that, I start to feel a bit uneasy especially because I just feel like there's so much on my plate and I want to make sure everything is done properly. I guess it's a good thing that I didn't go out last night or tonight. Um, instead, I'm going to start on my family vlog, our road trip. Oh, you okay? Um, our road trip to South Lake Tahoe and Big Sur, Carmel Valley. It's a lot of footage. <laughs> I think it's like two hours worth of footage. The most difficult part about editing a vlog is starting it. <laughs> it's doing the rough cuts, trying to see where everything fits on the timeline and just going through and watching every single clip, you know, because you don't know if you can use something unless you just watch through it. And from there, kind of build the storyline and then do the color correction, then find the tracks and then jazz it up, do the intro, add the titles and the dates and all of that. Um, it's the whole process. But let me tell you, once you reach the tail end of the vlog or once I'm doing the intro, I'm starting to feel like, oh, it's coming to an end. Typically when I have vlogs with my family, it's very special for me because I just love those moments with them. I cherish them a lot. So put an extra love in those vlogs. That's for sure. I'm gonna just go through each day, place it on the timeline, start doing the rough cuts and see where it takes me because ideally I like for this vlog to go out by Friday. Today's Saturday, so that gives me like you know, five, six days to complete. So wish me luck. Um, is there anything else? Am I missing anything? Did you taste it yet? Yeah. Mm. Robin picked some oranges from a tree. It wasn't in anybody's yard. It was like on the street, so.
excited to CrossFit, but I'm paralyzed because it's freezing. Oh my god. It's so cold. First day back into CrossFit. Let's do it. The workout is finished! This turned out so good. Okay. Made myself a mint mojito. I haven't had one of these in a while just because I don't like to drink too much sugar. Um, I just do about two teaspoons in here, but it's a nice treat every once in a while. <laughs> Put a lot of mint in there. I've just been editing all day. My assistant Hannah is here. She just breaked for lunch not too long ago. So yeah, we're just getting some shit done today. There's a lot to be done. Korean ginseng. Looks ready to me. Wow, it's a big dumpling. No, it broke. I'm gonna make the dipping sauce. Pretty much just a little bit of soy sauce diluted with some water. I know that sounds weird, but it's really good. Some sesame seeds, I like a lot. I see. That just looks divine. You can definitely tell you're in a Korean household here. We have the fish cake soup with dumplings, dipping sauce, and radish kimchi. Jumpsuit. So I went to the DMV today and as soon as I got there, I left <laughs> because there was about 50 people in front of me. They open at 9 a.m. today. So I got there by 8.30 thinking, you know, I'm early, but apparently I wasn't. So I decided to leave and hopefully 
I wake up early tomorrow because they open at 7 and I need to get there by 6.30. So I just came back home and I've been cleaning because Elena is going to arrive at LAX at 11 a.m. and Ernie's going to pick her up and bring her over. So Elena and Cairo will be staying with us for about two weeks, which I'm really excited about. There are definitely familiar faces here on this channel, but I'm gonna make some breakfast. Lately, I've been making oatmeal with a bunch of amazing toppings like superfoods, and I posted a photo on Instagram talking about the recipe, but I'm just gonna show you how I make it today because I get a lot of questions on it and it's honestly so simple to make and delicious. You get all your nutrients and it's healthy, so. I'm just toasting the oats. You don't have to do this. I just find that it brings out a nutty flavor, which I really like, but I don't roast them too long. Normally I do about half a cup and this is maybe a little bit under, but I never really use a measuring cup. Today I'm using Trader Joe's non-dairy oat beverage. I just kind of eyeball it. I do about a cup and a half on low heat. And you're just going to stir frequently because it'll get thick super quick. Personally, I find if you make your oatmeal fresh every morning, it's just the best way to have it rather than making um, a big tub and warming it up in the microwave. It just doesn't taste as good. So um, as long as you make small amounts in the morning, it's really fast and easy to make. It doesn't take long at all. This whole process probably takes me like seven minutes. I like to add some cinnamon. add your favorite toppings. I'm gonna add some hemp seeds, some goji berries, pumpkin seeds, these are so good, and some chia seeds, and lastly some almond or peanut butter. And there you have it. Very simple, so delicious. Now to eat. I like to have a little bit of everything in my bite. <laughs> the mint, right? And I put the sugar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's that? That's you. That's the YouTube. Say YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Kyra, you want to do this for me? Okay, good job. Mm -hmm. It's very fragrant. You smell that? Okay. And then, you're going to pour it in here. Be careful, it's a little hot. Put in the work. Oh, okay. You did. And then the sugar will melt. And then we're gonna add some ice. Ice. 
ice. <laughs> <laughs> After oat milk. Oat milk? <laughs> Put that in. This part you don't have to do, but I know it's dairy. It's half and half. But this is how Phil's Coffee does it. And there's no other like non dairy creamer that gives this kind of effect, which sucks, but I just do a little bit. It's good. Like this. There you go. You see that? Can I do a taste test? I'm sorry, you can't have this, Cairo. This is grown up stuff, okay? Okay. Good job. Thank you, helper. And there you have it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Say bye, YouTube. Bye. Bye, YouTube. Bye, bye YouTube. Okay. Very, very productive. Did you tell Sophie about your gummies you just had? You had gummies? Mm -hmm. gummies. Okay, almost done. Come on. I know, not your favorite. Come on, almost done. Okay. Has he ever had a haircut? I trimmed it once. Cut, Carla, do you want to cut your hair? No. <laughs> you like long hair, right? Long You're hair. very particular. Mm-hmm. You want what you want. Look at those brows. Do you know how many girls would kill to have those brows and lashes? Okay, almost done. Almost done. <laughs> almost done. <laughs> Thank you so much, sugar. <laughs> I'm sick, I caught a cold. I think it's just been a mixture of uh, Cairo is sick and I was kissing all up on his face yesterday and I saw Whaley, we got our nails done and she was kind of feeling sick and so just being around people who are feeling sick has got me sick. Freaking sucks because we are going to Mexico next week. So I'm really trying to get better. <laughs> But right now I'm headed to a fitting. We're actually going to be looking at all of the pieces for launch three. I'm so excited though. Um, even being sick and all, I just been dying to see this collection. This is the collection that is pretty much setting the tone for all of our future collections. It's like the first collection that truly doesn't feel uh, rushed in any way. So I'm really excited. So anyways, we're headed to the factory to do the fitting and then I'm gonna come back home, hang out with Elena and get some work done. Cutest. You know it. Good morning. Hey, happy food. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm, this bread is so good. Whew, just had a lovely lunch with Elena and Cairo. I am now getting ready. Most of the team is meeting today at the Fulfillment Center because we had our first woman end of the year sale. We got a ton of orders, so we're all getting together so we can pack up and ship out your items. It takes a village, so lately I've just been doing a tinted moisturizer, brows, a little bit of color on my cheeks and mascara. Calling it a day. Who would have thought I'd be doing looks like this? Just a year ago, I wasn't comfortable wearing tinted moisturizer. Now, it's all I wear. center we did pretty good we did about 400 orders but i had to leave a little bit early because i am getting my very first ever brazilian wax <laughs> it's kind of funny to say just because i think at this age you've probably experienced a brazilian wax but i've never experienced one um i'm kind of like a shaver and that's always just been fine for me but my sister suggested that i go with her because we're going to Tulum and you know, I wanna be all smooth down there. So yeah, I'm really freaking nervous though because I don't know like the pain tolerance, like how it's gonna be. So anyways, I just thought I would let you guys know. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, just to make sure that the wax sticks to your hair and not your skin. Okay. Um, so just butterfly for me. Like putting oh, like this? Yeah. Wow. So speed up a little. This is yeah. very vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess what day will giving birth. Um, so I'm just gonna put our wax on. So this is hard wax and it's exclusive to only European waxers. Oh! Are you okay? Yeah, it's a little, a little hot. Okay. So oh. oh, I thought you did that. I thought you did that. Oh. You okay? <laughs> it wasn't that bad, was it? No, no, but it's good that you uh, kind of switched you. for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, most people say that the top part stinks and the like the middle is the hurt. Yeah. So the hardest part is over with. At the top, yeah. <gasps> so one, two, three. I swear it's like your hair comes up the easiest. Was I pretty dramatic for my first time? No, actually it was not at all. You did very well. <laughs> Good morning or afternoon? No, it's morning. It's 10. Um, I've had quite an early morning. I woke up super early to go to the DMV as a walk-in. I had like 10 people in front of me, which wasn't bad at all. I went there to get my real ID as well as take my motorcycle permit test. <laughs> which I failed. You can take the test up to three times and for the first test, you can only miss four questions and I missed five. <sighs> I was so close to getting my permit and then I asked them if I could take it again and they told me I had to wait 20 minutes so I went back in the waiting area, sat down and as soon as 20 minutes passed, took the test again and that one just was way harder so I failed. So now I just decided to wait for my real ID to come, which will take about three to four weeks, and then go back um, to take the test again. And I actually took the booklet home. I'm gonna be studying like crazy. I'm so determined to get my motorcycle permit, and that's a 2020 goal of mine. Haven't talked about it much, but 
Um, being a passenger on the bike has really been such an exhilarating experience for me and it, it's, it feels like a calling. Like it's something that I, I know I'm meant to experience in my lifetime. So we're gonna make that happen, but <laughs> just not right now. I'm hoping by my birthday, I'll be able to ride. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. But now I'm just home. Hannah's gonna come in. She'll be here in about 30 minutes and we're just gonna work today have a lot of things to do and tomorrow's our last day in LA then we go to Mexico we're going to Tulum for Robin's birthday her her 30th birthday the dirty 30 okay so I'm gonna get to work but I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I failed <laughs> no I'm kidding but um at least I know what the test is like now